in a number of them in Kaiti River. Mm -hmm. Kaiti River is in Makweni, mm -hmm. where we have sad coming from uh, those highlands in mm -hmm. Ukambani, mm -hmm. depositing very fine sand mm -hmm. with ingredients that you cannot even be able to count. Mm -hmm. And this has made it possible for us to have it in uh, uh, the, the, the Kaiti Kaiti River. Mm -hmm. When the river is passing through, I hope you can remember your geography, mm -hmm. when it is in the in the old stage, mm -hmm. sometimes the river deposits. Mm -hmm. The kind of deposition that mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. in some section of River Kaiti mm -hmm. has enabled us mm -hmm. to set up uh, beach courts there. Mm -hmm. The other areas like Nyandarwa, Nyandarwa, Kiyon, the former MP did set up beach courts, mm -hmm. but the sand was not as fine as uh, those ones of those places that I'm mentioning. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, mm -hmm. We have tried to assert our authority mm -hmm. in various areas. Mm -hmm. The question now is, will our boys and girls be able to participate? More importantly, mm -hmm. we have now, as we are talking, mm -hmm. this game has been introduced in uh, the CASA games, mm -hmm. the, the inter-county games. Yes, yes. They, it's already, uh, they are already participating. Mm -hmm. They did it in Malindi for mm -hmm. the first time in yes. history. Mm -hmm. So this will help us. If we have it started in primary school, mm -hmm. secondary school, mm -hmm. university, mm -hmm. and now those other areas, mm -hmm. we shall be good to go. Just like the case of uh, Rugby 7 you have talked. Mm -hmm. So I must thank my members and also the Federation and companies that have been able to sponsor our tournament. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the governors, mm -hmm. Governor Kibuta Kibwana, mm -hmm. uh, former Governor Homabe. Mm -hmm. We have a deep hit. Mm -hmm. Deep hit, they have sponsored now three major tournaments. Mm -hmm. We also have um, Johnson & Johnson. Mm -hmm. They have also given us money, and uh, they have really been pumping a lot of money in uh, both uh, volleyball Nairobi and beach volleyball. Now, I mean, uh, Strathmore University. Mm -hmm. First to set up a beach court as a university. And that is where we had uh, Strathmore 1, Strathmore 2. Yes. And our girls to qualify for continental event, we had to do a lot of, we referred to them as homologated tours. So this homologated tours we've had has enabled us to bring up the beach volleyball. But big question is, yes. you have done all that. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you qualify for the yes. Olympics? Yes, indeed. That was the <laughs> coming up. I want to tell you mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and now, mm -hmm. countries have invested mm -hmm. heavily mm -hmm. in the beach volleyball, mm -hmm. particularly a country like Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, they have said never again. Mm -hmm. And you know how, what number the girls were? Mm -hmm. Number two mm -hmm. in Africa. Yes. They, in fact, they took the first set. Mm -hmm. They defeated uh, Egypt the first set. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of heavy investment mm -hmm. by countries like Nigeria have mentioned. Mm -hmm. Gambia, as we are talking, uh -huh. they are the best in their own way because all the young ones are training and um, doing professional beach volleyball in Qatar. Mm -hmm. We have Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. Sierra Leone, they're doing very well. Mm -hmm. Botswana, mm -hmm. Angora, mm -hmm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. Um, and also countries like Morocco. Mm -hmm. Morocco, they have qualified for the Olympics, as you're talking, men, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Egypt. Mm -hmm. Egypt has an one advantage. Mm -hmm. It has a double coastline. Mm -hmm. So there are those activities taking place in Mediterranean mm -hmm. and the other one in Re uh, Red Sea. Mm -hmm. So all these things have talked of in heavy investment. We have junior academies in Angora. Mm -hmm. We have junior academies in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And all this has made it possible. If mm -hmm. you look at me, mm -hmm. I'm in a South African attire. Yeah. This is for the African champion himself. Mm -hmm. Because of my prowess in, um, in, uh, in uh, Shabikiri, yeah, the Shani, team, yeah. he said, you've done it very well. I'm giving you my touch. Yeah, the key. But no. that will be another uh, yeah. story, all the yeah. four together. So but, but Kenya, yes, yes. we have not fully mm -hmm. invested mm -hmm. in uh, the development mm -hmm. of junior, uh, junior mm -hmm. and uh, of course middle class. Uh, that's where we have been overtaken mm -hmm. by Nigeria and, 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 and other Africa. And of course you are the chairman of uh, that particular commission. There must be what's going to happen, right, to get this talent when it's still, they're still young. We are doing one thing. We are quietly talking to the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. where we have uh, the new, uh, we have the PS, mm -hmm. and of course the former director, that is Mr. Ndware. Mm -hmm. We had presented our case where we wanted this spot mm -hmm. uh, encapsulated mm -hmm. in uh, the secondary school activity mm -hmm. and primary school. Mm -hmm. If that happens, mm -hmm. then we shall be good to go, because we shall be training the young ones. Mm -hmm. from primary school to mm -hmm. secondary school. Mm -hmm. By the time they are filtered to 
come to the federation, mm -hmm. they'll be good to go because mm -hmm. they'll understand all the basic mm -hmm. of volleyball, mm -hmm. the, the, the service, the setting, the name it. Mm -hmm. So we are doing one thing. Mm -hmm. We are collaborating mm -hmm. with all stakeholders mm -hmm. to make sure that mm -hmm. we are flipped uplift this yes. game. At yeah. the same time too, talking to the hotel industry, because this game has some connection with the sport tourism. Yeah. And as you did mention, the blue economy. Yes. So you'll see that uh, we host our games in big hotels. Mm -hmm. We had one in Mombasa, mm -hmm. in Praidin, mm -hmm. and I must salute Praidin mm -hmm. because they gave, uh, they gave us uh, the beaches. When I was in Morocco, mm -hmm. I did post something, mm -hmm. and I said the ownership of beach volleyball mm -hmm. should be for the government. Mm -hmm. We should not be negotiating, setting up a beach court mm -hmm. in along the coastal strip. Yes. Because those beaches are for you and me, yeah. not for individuals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, the government will have to intervene here where we have uh, the beach activities mm -hmm. being undertaken. Whether you have a hotel in Morocco, they separate the beach, uh, construction of road, separated from uh, from from the hotel mm -hmm. and inside near along the beaches mm -hmm. they set up a gymnasium mm -hmm. where you can do your gym, mm -hmm. uh, gym, uh, gymnasium mm -hmm. and then swim into the ocean and also do your beach volleyball beach uh, we have beach tennis mm -hmm. beach whatever yes. beach so that time mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. the question was what are we doing mm -hmm. we are doing a lot mm -hmm. to make sure that we have lived this game mm -hmm. we do not want to be beaten by nigeria mm -hmm. and we have also zeroed in mm -hmm. on our junior remember mm -hmm. our junior went to um allow me to call it because I'm, i may not be able to pronounce it well uh to tobacco is mm -hmm. a country called uh, Trinidad. To, Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, yes. Tobago, very good. Mm -hmm. And our girls were number four mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. In the world. Mm -hmm. In fact, we defeated uh, Britain, mm -hmm. and that was history yes. in making. Yes. So these young ones, we are trying to uplift them, and uh, God willing, we shall be able mm -hmm. to come up mm -hmm. with a team, yes. a formidable team, mm -hmm. that will participate in yeah. Los uh, Angeles Olympic yes. 2028. And of course, there are attempts uh, from. Um, the Commission of the Federation to go into the untapped areas, the areas that have massive po uh, talent, right? Yes. Is uh, Budalangi Bumbe one oh, of yes, them? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. We have already established a uh, beach court in um, a beach called, um, the former minister has a very nice beach called uh, Chase Bay. Chase Bay, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. We went there, mm -hmm. came up with a beach court. Mm -hmm. Now, we, in the lower part of Mau Mau, mm -hmm. when, you, when you go yeah, to that the other section, side, yes. yeah. Yeah, the other side, yes. we have also identified a number of good beaches. Mm -hmm. In the lower part of Nyanza, mm -hmm. we have Muhuru Bay. Mm -hmm. Muhuru Bay, we have a very nice uh, frontage, mm -hmm. and uh, we have very nice uh, sand, mm -hmm. which have been uh, de I mean, uh, well deposited mm -hmm. and transported to the, to the, to the bay, yes. and uh, which has gone proper um, erosion mm -hmm. through abrasion, attrition, and uh, we have a very nice uh, sand, no mm -hmm. large pebbles, mm -hmm. and uh, that will make it easy for mm -hmm. us. In Trukana area, mm -hmm. we have a very nice uh, frontage mm -hmm. where we have along uh, uh, Lake Trukana. You mm -hmm. used to call it Lake Rudolph in primary yeah, school? Yeah. Along Lake Rudolph, mm -hmm. you know, one of the largest uh, hatchery ground mm -hmm. of crocodile. Mm -hmm is in Lake Trukana. Uh -huh. You didn't know that. Yeah, didn't now, know that. in the lower part, uh -huh. Uh -huh. we have a section that has got a very nice sand. Uh -huh. So apart from playing beach volleyball, uh -huh. you can as well get to know uh -huh. the home of crocodile yes. in Africa. So it's a whole tourism. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a sport, but it brings everybody on, on board, board, right? On board. In yes. fact, one time, uh -huh. the former PS did host a very nice tournament in Kware, uh -huh. sponsored fully. Uh -huh by the Ministry of Tourism. Mm -hmm. yes. And also, let's talk about uh, the, maybe touch on Malkia strikers and the expectations in, uh, in, in, in uh, Paris. They, mm -hmm. were, they had a really uh, uh, preparation for that during, in Manila, Philippines, at the FIVB Challenger. Yes, before Manila, mm -hmm. they had to camp here for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Then they took out to play Challenger Cup. Mm -hmm. Go to me, mm -hmm. Challenger Cup. Yes. And our girls emerged number mm -hmm. five in the world. Mm -hmm. in the world, something that people do not know. Uh, apart from that, from Manila, they came back here, and uh, the day before yesterday, they took over to Manila, uh -huh. I mean, uh, to Miramas, uh -huh. and uh, they'll train there and then take off to Bali uh -huh. on 23rd of uh -huh. this month. We uh -huh. wish them well. Uh -huh. They have uh, good coaches. Uh -huh. Munara is a seasoned coach, mm -hmm. having coached them from secondary school, uh -huh. because the majority of them uh -huh. are from Kwadanche, yes. secondary school, Two of them are from Soweto, mm -hmm. the others are from Western, mm -hmm. and they have passed through the hands of Munara. Mm -hmm. So I think he'll be able to produce. Mm -hmm. Bitok was not in the country, 
uh, from 10 years. And so when Monara was here, mm -hmm. he was able to nurture him. And that mm -hmm. is why at the Federation, we mm -hmm. said Monara will be better suited mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the coaching of Marikia. Uh, of Marikia mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And, and I, I do remember uh, when we did, uh, when Kenya did participate uh, at the Olympics in 2016, mm -hmm. we had a team of um, coaches seconded to Kenya, <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why Mr. Mbude is laughing, maybe. Uh, but, well, but this was neo-colonialism. What, what, what was bad with that deal, the Mr. Mbude? Maybe you can when reveal. When the deal is too good, yeah, think twice. Think, uh, I'm the deputy treasurer yes. of Kenya Volleyball Federation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is no single coin mm -hmm. that was, uh, I mean, uh, was posted in our account. Mm -hmm. This is... What, what it did involve? It, is, it involved... Um, it involved a transaction by a few individuals to exploit Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll tell you. And it did go on for some time. It, go, it went on for some time. Yes. But this was um, a white elephant, mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. because this was a deal done by very few Was individuals. KVF supposed to pay them or the government? No, they, we have um, allocation of money from FIVB. Yes. But yes. this money mm -hmm. is controlled mm -hmm. by them. FIVB. If you can remember your economics, yes. there is tide aid. Uh -huh. This was not just tide, uh -huh. but it was over tide. Uh -huh. So there was no coin that was finding its way into. There is no single coach uh -huh. from Kenya uh -huh. who benefited uh -huh. in terms of money. Uh -huh. And uh, when they choose, they choose the country where to go and do the training. Do you hear a person wapi? Huko, huko. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Brazil uh -huh. is a good example. Our total wait the end of Nyazingapi. Where does the money go? Back to the country. Uh -huh. they, the next one they were planning and we refused <laughs> was um, fin, uh, Finland. <laughs> because one of the official is from Finland. So, we cannot be exploited <laughs> during the time of Mao Mao. <laughs> we be exploited when we have uh, people like you <laughs> who are true Pan African. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also our sons and daughters be exploited. No, we this exploitation, we say it. No, so it, with it, a big it, no. It took the change of the office for that to be I'm rectified. You, and I'm telling you, and some of the officials still in the system uh -huh. wanted it to continue. Uh -huh. Not that we are against the FIVB um, and their prog development programs. But yes. then uh -huh. you have to be consulted. Mutu hawezi kuja kwako, akulete badminton, na your son daughter does not play badminton. Mm -hmm. You have to ask him, why badminton? How about the exchange of knowledge? Did the coaches benefit? Uh, well, I think uh, next time we shall invite Munara here mm -hmm. to come and talk about it because I did not, mm -hmm. I, I didn't go there. Mm -hmm. uh, the girls also, some of them did benefit because mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the equipment that mm -hmm. they have. They're mm -hmm. slightly better. Mm -hmm. But bottom line, mm -hmm. The whole idea mm -hmm. was a fake idea mm -hmm. meant to benefit a few, few individuals. Mm -hmm. And that's why it really did bring, uh, there was an uproar about yes. that. And also maybe... Some uh, of, uh, even the journalists had some their, their own interest there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is why always in the newspaper, it was about Kenya Volleyball Federation refuses the Brazilian. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. We'll always set us free mm -hmm. because they had their own interest. Mm -hmm. They also wanted to be posted mm -hmm. in the FIVB headquarters. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the time as the time goes by, mm -hmm. we shall name names. Mm -hmm. That will be the next time. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and please do come to this show and drop <laughs> the names. Anyway, um, we, we're looking at Malkia Strikers, 12th yes. in 2020. Yes. What, can we finally win a set? You know, we, can we the, the win a match? Idea, mm -hmm. The whole idea is mm -hmm. not winning a set. Mm -hmm. And that's the perception that we want to remove from the members of mm -hmm. other states. Mm -hmm. These girls mm -hmm. did not get gymnasium for adequate time. And mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that they not do well. Mm -hmm. When Japanese, because we are playing against the Japanese, yes, we, and when, Poland, the, when and the team was mm -hmm. named mm -hmm. for Olympics, mm -hmm. it started training four years ago. Mm -hmm. Kenya team mm -hmm. just got uh, gymnasium for four weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, I mean not four weeks, actually two weeks, mm -hmm. the gymnasium we paid mm -hmm. yearly. Mm -hmm. To Natlipa Mata over twenty five thousand, mm -hmm. and uh, it is not we cannot Possession. expect yes we cannot expect mana from heaven mm -hmm. in Olympics. Mm -hmm. Those girls, whether they are beaten or not beaten, mm -hmm. they have done their bit by being in the bracket of the twelve good countries in the world. Are you saying that they are not going to perform? I am not trying to say that they will not perform. They will, but one of our staff 
he still know is injured. Yeah, Chep Chumba. Chep Chumba. Yes. If Chep Chumba was in her true form, mm -hmm. I would comfortably say that he would even beat some teams. Mm -hmm. Because, and truth be said, mm -hmm. she is the one yeah. who made us qualify. Yes, for real. In Cameroon. In Cameroon, yes. yes. And Pamela Diambo really is showing some good Pamela signs in uh, doing, Challenger. Yes, mm -hmm. Challenger, she came out very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, this girl from, uh, from Nyakach, mm -hmm. because she, she was uh, an old student of Nyakach, mm -hmm. she's doing very well. Not forgetting uh, Violet uh, Adiambo, mm -hmm. uh, Veronica, yeah, Adiambo, Veronica Adiambo, who plays professional Greece. volleyball yes. in Turkey. Yes. She also did show a good um, sign. Mm -hmm. There's also another young girl from Kenya Prison mm -hmm. who is coming up very well. Our mm -hmm. setters, mm -hmm. all from uh, Kwadante mm -hmm. High School, mm -hmm. they're also doing very well. Our mm -hmm. two girls from Soweto, mm -hmm. they're also doing very well. Mm -hmm. We have told them, mm -hmm. go to that wall, mm -hmm. with or without ammunition. Mm -hmm. Hit hard. Mm -hmm. Whatever you come up with, mm -hmm. or we can come back with, mm -hmm. that is what is ours. Whether they win a set or not, mm -hmm. as federation, mm -hmm. we are already satisfied by them being there. Yes. yes. And really, Malkia Strikers and Mr. Mbudi are uh, proud of the pipeline, you know, the, 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 plat yeah, the platform that the schools provide, yeah, they provide yeah, 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 the yeah, national yeah. team. It's a feeder program, uh, really. Uh, yeah. I didn't know you also... You have a lot of uh, idiomatic expression. We are actually a pipeline. <laughs> we, we let this thing flow. After flowing, we reach the target. The target is Kenya pipeline, yeah. Kenya prison. Uh -huh. Kenya, uh, I mean, now we have DCI. Uh -huh. Right now, we have, I think, uh, Kenya police, they're starting. We have so many teams that uh, where our girls go to. And these days, we don't just tell them to go. Uh -huh. They just go there. Uh -huh. uh, they get employment. Uh -huh. They also do their studies uh -huh. because we also need lawyers. Uh -huh. yeah, we need the yes, officers lawyers, in volleyball. Yes. We already have a doctor now mm -hmm. in volleyball mm -hmm. we have um maria uh maria is already a doctor mm -hmm. and uh we also engage our own lawyers for a long time we have been using jerry onyango who mm -hmm. was uh, assistant captain in uh, 1987, mm -hmm. all African games. Mm -hmm. na miaka in Nairobi, we mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was there, and that is why they are telling us Gen Z now give space to the new man. <laughs> but I was in secondary school. Yeah, yeah. I was in A level, actually. Yes, yes, yes. When that all happened. So we wish for them well. Yes. Let's also not downplay your question. Uh, if they win a set, we shall be very happy. Mm -hmm. If they win at us, uh, I mean, uh, our, I mean, they beat a team, mm -hmm. we shall even be overjoyed. Mm -hmm. If they don't win, they are our girls. Mm -hmm. And they are the best in Africa. And number 12 in the world, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we only have 12 teams yes. participating in, Olympics. in uh, Pali. Yes. And Malkia Strikers begin their battle on 29th against uh, Brazil. Brazil, uh, silver winners that in Tokyo. That is why, how mm -hmm. can we be coached by Brazilians? Mm -hmm. And we are going to meet Brazil. Mm -hmm. When you call up on that, Mr. Mbudi, they're talking about the deal that went sour, you know, <laughs> with the FIVB. But anyway, we're here to talk about the prospects of Malkia. Yeah. In Bra they'll be facing Brazil in the first match. Then, of course, they face Poland and yes. then Japan. Japan. In the, yes, the final. In fact, one of our sponsors, the deep hit, is uh, Japanese. Mm -hmm. And he said, whether you're going to meet my team or mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. I'm donating uh, mm -hmm. staff here mm -hmm. worth 60,000. Waende wacheze vizuri. Wakishinda timiangu, sawa. Niki washinda, sawa. Yes, and maybe as we wrap up this particular session, Mr. Mbudi, about the Kenya Second School Games, where you're rushing to, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, right. Now we have the finals at Jamahuri High School of mm -hmm. Rugby 7, Volleyball, Netball, Soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday we finished mm -hmm. Lawn Tennis, Badminton, and uh, Table, I mean, and uh, Lawn Tennis. Mm -hmm. So already we have the finalists. Our team that are meeting at the finals is uh, uh, Olympic High School. Mm -hmm. They dethroned mm -hmm. the champions, the Greti, mm -hmm. who are also one-time champions mm -hmm. in, uh, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. They dethroned them yesterday. And they are meeting Highway. Mm -hmm. Highway one time they were champions, mm -hmm. and they did very well up to East Africa. Uh, now volleyball, we have uh, the regular Giants, mm -hmm. that is Hospital Hill, Hill yes. who won the title in 2013, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, Rudimitu, mm -hmm. who are the current uh, champions mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You can imagine what you expect mm -hmm. to see and to see there. The Netball, we have um, Bagadi Secondary School mm -hmm. are playing against Parklands. Your neighbors here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You should have been there to support your neighbors. <laughs> uh, and uh, then uh, soccer girls, we have uh, the Great Mixed. Mm -hmm. where the, some of the girls yeah. that uh, went to China are yeah. from the Great yeah, so Mixed. Did so well in By Tampa the time Dima, I was yes. coming here, the goals yeah. was um, in a six. But that will be a story for another day. Yeah. Uh, for um, badminton, yeah. I have told yeah. you, yeah. we have quite a conglomeration of uh, athletes yeah. from Highway, yeah. from Upper Hill, 
from uh, Oshawa Secondary School Badminton. And we also decided to use the best facilities that we have in the country. Mm -hmm. We were using Nairobi Club. Mm -hmm. uh, we were using uh, Premier mm -hmm. for Badminton. Mm -hmm. And table tennis, we decided to bring it in a public school. Mm -hmm. We were doing it at Upper Hill Secondary mm -hmm. School. Mm -hmm. Rugby, mm -hmm. the champions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Waiting for Upper Hill mm -hmm. and uh, Nairobi School. Uh -huh. Don't forget yes. that this is a game of that, gentlemen. That, that's a mouth-watering yes, clash, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So they do well in ac uh, academics, mm -hmm. and they also do well in sports. Yes. So that's when we're eating. But the two teams have qualified mm -hmm. to go to the national. Uh, national. Yes. Because we take two teams in uh, rugby seven. Yes. But the other teams, one. Only, only one. 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 Yes. yes. So you have the update from uh, the Nairobi region, S uh, second school game, STAM 2. Yes. Mr. Mbuthi also sits on that particular um, uh, committee, term. right? I have to give some of these uh, positions. Yes. Whether I like yeah, there are too many, and they yes, keep yes, coming, right? But some of them come because of uh, the competence. Yes, competence. And, uh, they, and some of these, they are not paying. Uh -huh. You just do it because of yes. passion. Yes. yes. And yes. also, maybe the biggest achievement is, mm. you know, seeing beach volleyball, you know, at the that, Olympics. That to me. It feels like that you've already done me. it. <laughs> Whether I get money or not, yeah. that one I sleep happy. Yes. Because of what I what we did. Thank you so much, Mr. Moses Mbudhia, uh, the Nairobi County Branch Chairman of Kenya Volleyball uh, Federation, also Deputy Treasurer National uh, Federation, that's KVF, and also sits on the Commission of Beach Volleyball as the Chairman. And that's been the key of our talk this particular afternoon. Thank you for finding time and all the best in your endeavors. That's Keep right. representing and flying nice. the nation flag. And also he comes from a, a royal lineage. That's Kemathi. Oh, well, most of the time we see you with Dedan, Dedan Kemathi. Yeah, the most famous Kikuyu in town <laughs> is Dedan Kemathi. That's my uncle, a man we cherish. He died what for What do you this feel country. about this moment and maybe what they did for he the wrote, country? Uh, what, uh, what he did for this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have been in that statue, mm -hmm. there is something that he said. Mm -hmm. You would rather die on your uh, when you're learning than die on your knees. Yes. And uh, every February 18, mm -hmm. we normally do a, uh, I mean, uh, a commemoration there. This year, in February 18, we were there. The 66th year, mm -hmm. Tangu mm -hmm. Ahangiwe. Mm -hmm. His bones are still in committee, mm -hmm. maximum Never, prison. Why is the grave unmarked? Uh, it was deliberate because they didn't want any homage played for this the man hero. here who did. And I can tell you here, mm -hmm. because uh, you've given me that opportunity. Mm -hmm. When we were in Ghana mm -hmm. with the likes of Leshan, yes. we visited the home of uh, the former president, J.J. Rowland. Mm -hmm. J.J. Rowland, when he, he gave a bath to his son, mm -hmm. he named him Dedan mm -hmm. So we went to that home uh -huh. because of that. When Nelson Mandela came from Ruben Island, mm -hmm. he said he would like to see the family of Dedan mm -hmm. because he motivated the... I mean, uh, the uh, inspired the, them. The inspired mm -hmm. them. The, 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 the party of uh, South Africa. What do you call the it? Anti -A -A -N -C. The anti-ANC. The anti apartheid When you struggle. go to Zambia, mm -hmm. you'll find uh, a major highway named after Dedan Kimathi. Mm -hmm. If you go to Uganda, mm -hmm. we have that. It's only that a hero is never recognized mm -hmm. is in his own country. When we buried Mama last mm -hmm. year, yes. in, uh, I mean, on May mm -hmm. 13, mm -hmm. uh, one of his cry was, please get the bones mm -hmm. of my husband. Let him be freed mm -hmm. from committing mm -hmm. maximum mm -hmm. prison. What, I, I wonder, what we are yes. doing as a family, uh -huh. We are fighting on until we get uh -huh. the bones of this man. Because we have DNA. Uh -huh. uh, the daughter is there. And, and I don't know whether I'm still in sports. Because Dedan Kimadi was also doing sports in the forest. Yes. Because he could and not have been able to marshal all those people if he was not energetic. Yes. He, was, he didn't know how to throw the spear yeah. like Reshan. Reshan. There, yes, Reshan. indeed. <laughs> and I wonder why they're afraid of him even in death. Yeah. But, you know, that's the struggle that uh, they freed us. They freed mm. everyone. But yes. thank you so much. Pop in here yeah. at a museum mm -hmm. and you'll see Yes, indeed. You also inspired us in some way. Maybe I'll talk about that some other we day. We have a place Mr. in your place that is called Mau Mau. Yeah, in Budalangi. Mau Mau's were deposited there, being be taken to various islands. In in prisons, yes. yes. And, yes. and it, some of them... I have visited them. Yeah, some will escape and then yes. they'll be... We used to give them refuge. Yes. My and great by the way, <laughs> the, son, the son of J.J. Rowland told yeah. us, mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the barrio day. I can't wait for it too. But anyway, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Samudia will be back with Leshan Ita now, Javla, talking about his prospects in that particular discipline. Let's take a short break. We'll be back. All Keep right. it touchline. All right.